Fucking glad St. Patrick's Day is over! Oh, do I hate that fucking holiday? Oh, you're in a green shirt. You're not from Ireland, are you, or anything? No. Alright, good. We're good. Fuck you anyway, because you had day yesterday if you were. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a frightening holiday. It really is. I stay in the house, I lock the fucking doors, and I'll watch, you know, like, reruns of America's Next Top Model and go out on St. Patrick's Day. It's scary. It's scary. Because they start drinking, like, three days before. <laughs> Three days before, and my friend would be calling up my Irish friends like, Hey bud, you want to go out and wait for like St. Patty's Eve, Eve, Eve? <laughs> I'm like, dude, St. Patrick's Day is in four fucking days, I'll give you a see you then. <laughs> then you roll out of your house around noon, around noon, and you see all the leprechauns jumping around. <laughs> jumping around. Then you see the... The scariest people of all St. Patrick's Day, what I call the radish face people. You ever see these people? Their face looks like they just sat next to a kerosene heater for like an hour. Like, by like six o'clock. You know, they're red face. Like radishes with a skin problem. You know, a little bunch. But yeah, St. Patrick's Day and the Puerto Rican Day Parade, two events. Do not want any to be part of. I'd rather walk the streets during a prison break than be, than be out there for, for um, either one of those holidays. So I'm half Italian and I'm half South Korean. I don't know if you noticed that. My father's from Sicily, my mother's from South Korea. But they met here, they met like up the block that way. Um, Koreatown. <laughs> Koreatown's fun, yeah. My father went there for a massage. He went there for massage. He did, just didn't realize he was going to get a happy never ending, you know? <laughs> Hence my mother. Um, but there's, there's still love. There's still love. They met on the corner of uh, Misohane Boulevard. You know? <laughs> the corner of my Love You Wrong Time Avenue. You know? so, but I love them. So, I'm from New York, which I love. There's a lot of New Yorkers here, I see. Yeah, it's just such a great city. We're like a melting pot of fucking freaks, aren't we? I mean, any given day, smoke a joint, I love to smoke a joint, walk outside, just watch the circus. <laughs> watch the circus. You got everybody. You got the bearded lady, right? She's over the ground. You got crazy talk to myself guy. You ever see this fucking guy? He's having a two-way conversation with himself, and he can't understand a fucking word he's saying. He's like, I tell you I will be here over there! <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to, buddy? <laughs> you know, he's, he's one of my favorites. And then you have, um, you have Leaning Tow Tower of Pisa guy. You ever see this guy? His eyes are closed, he's wasted out of his fucking mind. <laughs> Big smile on his face. And you can't knock this guy down with a baseball bat, I swear to God. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Then you have crazy religious lady. Do you ever see her? She looks like some cross between like a scarecrow and a witch. She'll have like boots or like straw coming out. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your savior? Not from the looks of you, honey. <laughs> what happened? You missed you? I don't understand that. So like I said, I grew up in New York, but they do have a lot of nice attractions in New York. They really do. Like Times Square, you know, you have fun at Times Square. I used to have fun at Times Square. About 18 years ago before Giuliani sold it to Disney. Yeah. Right? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. On 49th and Broadway, I can get $50 fake ID, $20 bag of weed, and a $10 prostitute back in like 1992. Now? <laughs> Now, on the same freaking corner, I get $50 movie tickets, a $20 hamburger, and a naked fucking cowboy. Do <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem with that motherfucker? Because. Oh, you guys didn't hear the fucking story? Listen to this one. I went to college with that asshole. Alright? 
And I'll tell you one thing, that was my idea! Oh, he thinks he's cool with the fucking cowboy hat and the boots, alright? But I, in college, was a naked frat boy. Every Saturday night, there I was in front of my frat house with boxer shorts and workout boots and a whistle. He sat there, and he stole my freaking idea. So, before I go, I want to sing you guys a very special song. It's a very special song I wrote for a very special person who just celebrated a very special birthday. Mick Jagger, everybody, give it up for Mick Jagger. He just celebrated his 65th birthday. And I'm going to sing a little special song I wrote for him. Maybe you guys know it. It's called Sympathy for the Disabled. And it's something like this. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man who no longer get laid. I've been around for a long, long year. Now I qualify for Medicaid. I was around when Jesus Christ had his moment of doubt and pain. Made damn glad that my home nurse brought my medication and this cave. <laughs> Let me be frank, I hold bingo's top rank when the geriatrics rage and the diapers stink. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Can you guess my age? <laughs> What's puzzling you is the fact that I'm still on stage. <laughs> I want to thank you for being such a good Okay.